What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to merge lines together into a single piece of geometry. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so today's extension that we're talking about is called Weld. Um, it's basically an extension that'll take uh, different lines that are joined to get, or different lines that intersect with each other and join them into a single piece of geometry. So uh, first things first, to find this extension you can just look for Weld up in the SketchUp Extension Warehouse. So just go to the SketchUp Extension Warehouse and uh, just search for Weld. And you're gonna look for the one that's in here. It's called Weld by the Smustard team. And that's the one that you're gonna wanna download and install. It's a free extension. And uh, honestly, I use this extension a lot. Um, I use it for a lot of different things. But basically what it does is it takes segments and it welds them into a single line. So like for example, let's say that I've got a shape kind of like this one where I've drawn the line and let's say that I've exploded all the edges so the curve and everything else is all in there as individual geometry or even if it wasn't. Even if you had an arc that was in here like this as an individual line. You can see how these three individual these three lines are all individual segments. So each one gets treated as a separate entity. So you can see how I can click on each one of these and they're a separate entity. And so that means a few things. First of all, it means if I push pull this object, Basically what's going to happen is it's going to extrude this into 3D and all these lines at the points where the edges are are going to show up as geometry in your model and probably a better way to show this now that I think about it would be to just use more of a exploded arc. So like let's say I draw an arc across this face, I right click on it and I click explode curve. Well now SketchUp has that in here as a bunch of individual segments as opposed to having it in here as a single arc item. So that's fine, but that means a few different things. Um, first of all, if I push pull this up, you can see how when I push pull this up and that's uh, not a single continuous arc, what SketchUp does is it comes in here and it draws all of this geometry across this face. And so now if I wanted this to be a smooth face, I would have to use the eraser tool, hold the shift key and come in here and hide all of this geometry to make it smooth. And uh, I'd probably actually want to hold the control key so I could soften and smooth it to make it a smooth face. So that's what SketchUp's going to do if this is in here as a, if this arc is in here as its individual geometry. However, if I come in here with Weld, I select this arc, and I just go up to Extensions, and I click Weld. Now when I click on that face, all of those arc segments are a part of a single line object in SketchUp's mind. And so what that means is now if I push pull this object, as opposed to what this was before, so now the difference you can see is that SketchUp draws this face when I push pull this as a smooth uninterrupted face. And so that's basically the way SketchUp handles um, individual segments as opposed to complete or individual segments in a curve. So if it's part of a complete line in here, then this is gonna come in here as a softened and smoothed face. And if I um, show hidden geometry, and I've got some other stuff here in the background, but you can see how those same lines are still in here, but they're in here as softened and smooth edges. So if you manage this properly using the weld tool, then you can create a lot smoother faces in here. This will do a few other things too, like for example, if I come in here and I draw a shape that's got kind of a series of arcs coming across the front face, and I extrude it up, you can see how what SketchUp's gonna do is that's gonna take this face and it's gonna draw lines basically at the edges of each one of these segments along here. So same kind of thing, if I create a copy of this, object over here and I use that to weld the entire perimeter so and that's one thing you can do is just double click on this face and then just go up to extensions and click weld well that what that'll do is that'll weld the entire perimeter of this object into a single continuous line and so now if I push pull that object up 
you can see how basically all of the edges and all of the corners come in here as hidden geometry. So now you get a nice, uninterrupted, smooth face. And if you wanted to, what you could do instead of welding the entire thing is you could just weld the lines along this curve. And then you could push pull that. That way your corner geometry still shows up, but you get this nice smooth curve in here. So again, one, one of the reasons that we want to weld objects is to get nice smooth curves. And so I'll just push pull this up just so you can see the difference. So it seems simple, but um, once you start getting into more complex shapes, and this can be kind of a big deal. So in another place where this gets super important is when you're using the follow me tool. So the follow me tool, as you probably know, is the tool that you can use to extrude objects along paths. So like for example, if I just had a simple arc in here, just one line, and then I had a circle, I could select this arc, activate the follow me tool, and extrude that along that line. The problem comes when you start trying to do that with multiple different lines. So like if I move this over, and let's say that I wanted a copy of this that kind of continued along, well what I'd end up doing is I'd end up creating a few different copies of this. And then I would have to come in here, I would have to shift click each one of these in order to get my complete path. Then I could use the follow me tool to extrude along this path. But an easier way to do that, instead of coming in here and having to do the shift click thing and all of that, is just to weld all of those objects into a single continuous line. So now if I'm in here and I use the follow me tool along this path, it's just going to let me extrude this along this whole thing just by single clicking on it. So, and one of the areas where this becomes important is if you try to do this with, with exploded curves, like if you look at this line right here, this line is made up of a whole bunch of individual segments. So if you try to do this with exploded curves or with something that's kind of in here as a bunch of different parts and pieces, what's going to happen when I do this is that's going to bring all of this geometry in here as unsmooth, unhidden geometry. So at every point where those segments where those segments are, you can see how what that's doing is that's actually coming in here and when you extrude your shape along this path, it's bringing that in here as unhidden geometry. So it's really a better idea to have a completely welded line that you can extrude along so you can create more smooth geometry. So and that being said, once you kind of get an idea of how this works, you can actually come in here and you can actually start using this on purpose to create the geometry that you want. And so what I'm going to talk about here is I basically got this shape. And what I did is I drew this shape with the arc tool and then I exploded all of these different edges. So you can see how these are all in here as different edges. And then this is just an arc that I drew that just uh, kind of arcs up across and that's a complete line for right now. Well, if I take this and I use the follow me tool to extrude along that arc right now, you can see how because I exploded that edge or all those edges, it's drawing all this geometry in here where, so like for example, if I come in here and I use the follow me tool to extrude this along this path, this one is going to have all of this geometry in here as unhidden geometry. If I come in here and I weld this one, and then I use follow me tool along this arc, it's going to create a smooth face. And uh, for some reason, one of those still showed up in here. That's probably, oh, that's because I split this object. And hopefully, it's not liking that because I've got a line intersecting it, so it doesn't want to let me weld it. But in either case, if I use follow me tool along this, then this is going to be really smooth. Well, one of the things you can start doing is, I'm going to create another copy over here, but one of the things you can start doing here is if you have these in here as individual segments, you can start welding them on purpose in order to create a look that you want. Like for example, if I take the center, if I select these six pieces and I weld them, and then I select the three pieces along the edge and I weld those, 
and then I use the follow me tool along the arc, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a completely different thing where I've got some geometry up here that's kind of hidden and merged. And then I've also got these segments that are kind of uh, that are shown. So now I could create something like if I wanted to come in here and I wanted to color this up, for example, in a certain way. Well, I could use this to create the geometry that I want so that it's in there so that I can color it up. And the other thing you could do is not only could I weld that piece, I could also explode this curve and then use the follow me tool along here. And you can see how now this all comes in here as actual ge geometric pieces that you can work with. So in this case, probably what I want to do is I want to do the same thing where I weld these edges But now what I can do is I can use this exploded line as my path and use the follow me tool. Well now what I've got is I've got kind of this bigger arcing piece up here that I can come in here with like the scale tool. So if I select these objects, I can scale them up to change the way this object looks. So by planning ahead and by thinking about what kind of geometry I'm gonna create, there's a lot of different things that I can do in here. So this is something that you can use to actually create the geometry that you want in order to kind of be creative with some of your shapes. So if I come in here and let's say that I grab these pieces of geometry along this edge here. I can start scaling those outward to kind of create what I want to create in here. And then uh, one other example is if I create a curve, or if I create a helix, kind of like this one with an extension like helix along curve, which I've talked about in the past. I can do the same kind of thing where I can draw a circle. I'll make that a little smaller. You can draw a circle and extrude it along the path. We'll go ahead and make a copy of this over here. So this one is just going to go along this uninterrupted curve. Well, now I can use the follow me tool to extrude along that. We'll go ahead and make these a little smaller. But like, for example, if I can take this one and this will create a smooth object because this was an uninterrupted circle. But what I could do is I could explode the curve on this circle. And then I could just weld some edges along the top. And along the bottom, well now, if I click this helix and I extrude along it with the follow me tool, now I've got some geometry here along this edge that I can color up as well. So if you start planning ahead and start thinking about the geometry you want to make, then you can start using things like the weld tool and your individual geometry that you're extruding with to create a lot of different things. So you see how easy it is for me to create this kind of like blue and red shape along this edge just by kind of uh, planning for what I want to do. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, did you like uh, this workflow? Can you think of some good uses for this? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.